Hi guys, TGG Gaming here, and we're here with Justin Bacon. All right, and what did you do today? I took fourth place at the Bloomington Regionals in Minnesota. All right, so uh, let's get on with the deck profile then. All right, so I was playing Pure Striker today. Play three ray, pretty standard. You just kind of have to play it. It's part of the deck. Play three ash. Uh, it's just one of those cards where it hits everything, so it's never really dead game one, and it hits your hardest cards like Shared Ride in the Mirror. So, uh, next is two Ghost Bell. I know a lot of people are playing three, and it's really good in the Mirror because you can hit the Ray, and it's also really good against Thunder Dragon. I just didn't think that I wanted to draw the third enough. It was great, but I didn't want to draw it in the matchup, so it was dead end. Uh, three Engage, standard. Three Widow Rankers, also standard. That's pretty much your win condition. Three multi roll. It's pretty. Some people play two, some people th play three. I personally play three because you always want to hard draw it rather than search it, and it's really good in the mirror. And you'll notice a lot of the stuff I discuss that's really good in the mirror, I play in the main because mirrors can go up to 30 minutes, game one, and even a full round. So you want to make sure you're prepared in the main deck. Did you expect a lot of mirrors? I expected a lot of mirrors. I didn't think I was... I thought I was going to play a decent amount of warriors, but not a ton. And I was expecting Thunder Dragon and Altergeist. Uh, I did end up playing three mirrors, but I'll get into matchups in a little later. Okay. So I played two Eagle Booster. Uh, probably MVP of the deck. I love this card so much. Anytime I can get two Widow Anchors, I get one Widow and an Eagle instead. Because even against combo decks, just guaranteeing your next, next play, as well as keeping your stuff alive, and they can't OTK through a monster most of the time. So Eagle Booster, 100% MVP. Love to play three, but it would brick, so. 2-0. Some people say three because it bricks at two, but I've just always liked it at two. I don't think you need three. For one offs, you play one Jamming. One Afterburners, one Hornet, and one Shark. So jamming and Afterburners just do the opposite things. You just kind of have to play them. A lot of people are cutting jamming, but I think it's too good. And then Hornet, Engine Requirement, and Drones, you can steal Link 2s from your opponent's grave in order to go for Boral Sword OTKs. What's actually never came up today, but it was really good in the mirror, so. Uh, Call by the Grave. I specifically had it for the mirror, but it also won me a game against Thunder Dragon, so I'm definitely glad I played it. Uh, two Twister in the main. A lot of people are playing three, however, I have a Heavy Storm Duster instead of the third later on. Just because I don't like to draw multiple Twisters. Like, one Twister plus Duster is such a good opening. Because just discarding one is fine. Two Terraforming is pretty standard, just see your fields come more often. Uh, Foolish Goods Engine. So, this is really good. Some people play the third. Uh, against Thunder Dragon, you side the fusion out, but you keep goods in because you can send Widow Anchor and then just add it back if you can't go for Hayate. Uh, Rota, Engine Requirement. Upstart, I hate this card, but it's a free spell in Grave, so you kind of have to play it. Would you play three if it's at three? No. <laughs> Two Impermanence. Uh, it did come up against Cyber Dragons, where I negated a limited removal in the same column because he didn't play around it. And it never came up in testing, but I'm really glad I played it, because it came up multiple rounds. And then there's the one duster, so that's 40 card main. Alright, so let's get on with whatever Alright, so go extra next. Alright. So we have three Kigari, three Shizuku, and three Hayate. So it's becoming pretty standard to play three of each, you just kind of have to. Some people say don't play the third Hayate. Again, third Hayate never came up in testing, but it did come up two different rounds at the regional, so I'm glad I played it. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix, I almost wish I was playing two. I normal the bell to out Secret Village against Altergeist and straight up won me the game. Trisvania, never made it, but it's there for burn and if you're in main phase, or just it's just there to hit back row, it's nice. Bomber never made it. It's mostly for warrior decks. Didn't play it at all today, so I just got really lucky with that. Oral Sword came up almost every game in testing. Never came up with the original, but I'm glad I played it. Uh, Ningirsu. So this was supposed to be a triple burst dragon, but I couldn't find one before the event. But there was. I did make it twice, so it definitely came in clutch. And then there's just the one Clara. It was just kind of a filler spot because I didn't really know what else to play because I just switched from the Sky Blaster version. But if it I never had it come up against Altergeist to Out Village, but it's there if it does. Okay, and then we'll get into the side. So we have three Dino Wrestler Pank Pankratops. 
So against decks like Thunder Dragon that uh, can side in IOs and stuff, but don't run a lot of back row, you just side out the two Twisters and the Heavy Storm Duster. So it's just a free side out that's always open. And then also in the mirror, it's just so good because you can attack over something and then you can tribute it to pop the multi roll on either player's turn. So. Uh, two Ogre, this is mostly for Rogue, and then I also had a little bit of respect for the Warrior deck just because I didn't feel seven hand traps was enough for a deck that can gumball you for six pretty much. <laughs> right. Free shared ride, changed it last minute last night. Hate the card, but you can't deny the fact that it ends turns and gets you multiple draws against the mirror, so. That did me win me one game also. Alright, so we have the third twister. Nothing. <laughs> Just extra back row destruction. Got to get rid of all the floodgates. All right, so this is when the spicy tech comes in. We have Zombie World, which is really good against Thunder Dragons because uh, they can't tribute for to summon Colossus. They have to use Fusion. And then also against Draco, a lot of people wouldn't think about it. But as long as you keep Diagram off the field, they actually can't tribute someone except for Zombies. So if you keep Diagram off the field, they have no way to pop it, and they can't summon at all. Oh, very cool. Also playing the terraformings. Yep, terraformings make your one of search ball to three of, so it's really nice. Three summon limits. So this is mostly for Thunder Dragons and just random rogue decks that would kaiju you. So what does this card do? So each player can only summon up to two times per turn. So the only way that really affects you is when you're trying to push for game or when you want to make Hayate, but you pretty much only need Kagari and Shizuku. So this is my alternative to there can only be one. Uh, I had a Thunder Dragon player where he instant fusioned, activated a Thunder Monster effect, and then uh, he instant fusioned for a Thousand Eyes Restrict, actually. He made Link Rebo, I flipped this and he passed. Next turn I drew into Zombie World, so I had him under Summon Limit and Zombie World, and he just literally could not play. Uh, also against Rogue decks that might Kaiju you, uh, they use their Kaiju as their first summon, and they use an another summon, and you flip it and they just pass turn. And then you have a 3300 that you just swing and then you get rid of it with multi roll. Seems pretty good. Okay. And then just stuff like BA, you normal Rhino, special BA, pass turn. Like, they just can't play. And then you just have the two left dusters just because extra back row destruction. And you always want traps. I almost played a trap trick just to get an extra trap so I could out the field spell and alter guys. Because village is a problem, but I definitely have all my bases covered, so I'm not worried. Okay. So, I don't know. Did you want to talk maybe about the matchups? Or, but it sounded kind of like you covered that yeah. pretty well. So, first match I played against... Oh gosh, I don't remember. <laughs> it's it's alright. I'm completely... Cyber Dragon, so like I said, I 2 won that. The impermanence was Clutch on Limiter. Uh, game 2, Altergeist 2-0. It was fairly easy. I played Ray Beatdown, he couldn't draw anything. And then game 2 is where I made the Phoenix Blade out, the Secret Village. Game 3, I played against a really cool zombie deck. And I just kept Zombie World off the field because he was playing the control version. And just didn't really have a problem with it. Uh, game four, I believe, was Thunder Dragons. That was a really hard matchup. I won 2 1, but going into time, just being able to Ray attack directly, tribute. All right, so this was actually a really cool play. So he, we went into game three with two and a half minutes left, and then I started my turn with 30 seconds. And I was able to top deck Panker Top, pop the Gustav Max, and then normal Ray, and basically attack 15, tribute, attack for 15 again, and just get over the 2,000 deficit. All right. Um, and just, yeah, I had a really good event, 7-1-1. All right. Um, yeah, very, very good deck profile. Do you have any uh, shout-outs you like to give? I, w I do. So shout-outs to my friends Adam, Chris, Zach, and Austin. They've been great for the drive down. We all came down from Marshfield Vocals at j, &J Games. Uh, also, everyone at Johnny C's and Wassa, especially Gary for the Headache Medicine Round 5 because I was losing it. And then just one last special shout-out to John Sr. He's the owner of the card shop. Or he's one of the owners of the uh, card shop in Marshfield, and he just unfortunately recently passed away. So I just want to make sure it was a special shout out to him. All right, all right. Uh, yeah. So uh, thank you and congratulations on your uh, your top. Oh yeah. Thank you. So.